I got to talk to you about Duke real quick because you know oh. Duke better than anybody. And Filipowski is somebody oh. that's become like a hero and a villain all at once. As a Duke legend, what advice would you give him about this moment, this platform, and the right way to handle everything? You know, he tripped the dude, man. Like he tripped him. Um, the, the thing I hate about it, Jay Fitz, to be candid with you, is and Kyle Filipowski is a, a good dude. Um, he's a good dude navigating a lot, frankly. Uh, with NIL, with being one of the main faces of Duke basketball. And like, I, you know, let, let's be honest about it. Like there is a proclivity that fans feel like if there's a Caucasian player that plays for Duke that is talented, is good, like they're automatically heightened, right? Like J.J. Redick, Christian Leitner, Greg Paulus. You can go through the, the litany of the names. They're, they're heightened. And to do that, then all of a sudden I end up having to answer for all Duke players for that. And when that's not the way we played. Now, dirty things happen in the game, right? Like, I'll be first. I cheated in games. I grab your jersey. Uh, I've seen Armando Baycott slip somebody with his hand and trip somebody in the game, right? But when you're at Duke and you're positioned that way, it's going to be heightened. And it fits into a narrative that the program has already had with Grayson Allen. So I think... As soon as you can own it, I messed up, but I'm competitive and I just want to win, right? Um, get it behind you and move forward.